Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to create a drop down list in Excel so that you can make multiple selections from it. Let me show you what I mean by that. I have these items here and I have created a drop down list in cell C2 and if I select one here and then I select two you can see that the second selection gets added in the same cell after a comma. Similarly if I select three and if I select four all these items get added in the same cell. Had this been a usual drop down list it will only allow you to display one item which would be the latest selection but in this case you can have multiple selections. Now you cannot do this using inbuilt functions in Excel. You have to use the VBA code in the backend. Now if you have not used VBA coding in your life do not worry, I'll give you the exact code and the exact steps that you can follow to implement this and create this drop down list. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you will find the code in the link in the description. If you're watching this video on my blog, on my website, then you can simply scroll down and you will find the code that you can copy paste. Now, let's come here and let me show you how to build that drop down list. I have these items. First, I would create a drop down list in cell C2. So I would go to data. And in data validation, I would select list and in source, I would specify these cells. And now when I click OK, you can see I have a drop down here. But as of now, this is a usual drop down list where I make a selection. It will only display the latest selection. Now I'll have to copy the VBA code. I have the code here. Again, you can copy paste the code from my website and you will have to go to the developer tab and here you have the visual basic option. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Alt F11. If you cannot see the developer tab, right click on any of these ribbon items, go to customize the ribbon and in this list you will find developer. Simply select that, that option click add and it will get added here and when you click OK it will be displayed here or you can simply use the keyboard shortcut Alt F11. Now here if I press Alt F11 it opens the VB editor which is the back end of VB editor and I have the project explorer here so I have these sheets note that these are the same sheets that I have here example 1 example 2 and demo since my drop down list is an example 1 sheet I would have to double click on this option. So I, when I double click on sheet one, it opens this code window here and I would simply paste the code that I've copied and I would close this. And now see what happens when I select one and then I select two, it gets added in the same cell. So what is happening here is that whenever I make a change in this cell, the code gets fired up, the VBA code gets executed and it adds this here. So you can see when I make multiple selections, these get added. One problem with this drop down list is that if I come back and select one again, it will again be added here. So if this is what you want, then the code works for you. But in case you want only unique selections here, which means that you do not want one again to appear again, if that is selected, then you will have to modify the code. Again, this is the code that I've provided on my website. All you need to do is simply copy paste it. So in this case, I would simply copy this and let's create it separately here in example two worksheets. So I would select this cell. I would go to data, data validation. Here I would select list and I would select these cells to create the drop down list. So I have the drop down list here. Now again, I would press Alt F11 to go to the VB editor and here I would double click on sheet two. And when I double click on it, it opens the code window for this sheet. And now I would simply paste the code and close it and see what happens. Now when I come here and I select one, then I select two, it gets added. I select three, it gets added again. But when I come back and select one, nothing would happen. It will not allow me to select an item more than once. So if you want only the unique items, then this is the code that you need to use. Now, let me also take you through the code so that you can modify it a bit. Let me come back to sheet one here because this is the easy one. and Let's say that in this case, your drop down is not in C2, but in C4. So in this case, if I create a drop down list here, so let me quickly do that. I would 
create a drop down list in cell C4 but you would notice that as of now this is a simple drop down list which would allow you only to make one selection but if you want this kind of drop down list where you can make multiple selections in cell C5 instead of C2 simply go back here in this VB editor and change this line here if target dot address is equal to C2 and make this C5 and when you do that it will tell the VBA code that if any change is done in this cell and if this cell is C5 then execute this code else do not do anything so if I come back here and I you can see this drop down list does not work anymore but if I come here and I change this you can see it gets added so you can change the address if you want the drop down list in two or three cells you can go back here and you can use target dot address is equal to C2 or target or address is equal to C5 then so you can change this if you want this functionality in the entire column which means that you want all the drop down list in this column to work this way where one can make multiple selections simply change this and change this to target dot column is equal to 3 3 because this is the third column a B and C and C is the third column here so when you do this all the drop down list in this column would work the same way so here in this case again you can see this one works as well as this one it would also work so you can change this line of code to use different conditions if you want these in a row then you can make it a row if there are different cells then you can do that and if you are looking for more conditions if you want to understand how this works you can go through the comments on my website there are many suggestions that I have provided to all the people who are asking questions regarding these changes so this is how you can use VBA code to make multiple selections from a drop-down list in Excel I hope you found this video useful thank you and have a nice day